Hello and welcome to Story Retold. I'm Kalina and something has been on my mind lately and I wanted to share with you this incredible tip and that is to delegate work to people. What does that mean? So let's say you've got a big project happening. Uh, maybe you are planning a wedding or you are a wedding planner uh, and you've got lots of work ahead of you. Maybe it's your job. You've got a team of people and you've got this big project or to-do list that needs to be tackled. Or maybe it's just simple as your own household and people living under your roof um, and sharing the same space with you and you need to clean the place up or get ready for a birthday party or a holiday or something and there's a lot to be done. It is a very wise and helpful thing to delegate work to the people. And there are several reasons why this is a good idea. Um, one, you could get the work done a lot faster if you didn't do it all yourself. <laughs> Save yourself a little bit of stress and time and let other people chime in and help. Two, it lets them, those people, feel needed and wanted. Give them something to do. They want to help. It's, or maybe they don't and you just need the help, so you're going to make them do it. <laughs> There's that. Now, whatever the case may be, you need to delegate work. Break up the project into chunks where you can assign different people those individual chunks. Now, here's another big thing. Oh, there's a cat right here. There's a kitty cat. Yes, I love you too, Dorian. I love you too. Don't rub yourself in my books, crazy cat. Mm. Here's Dorian. Kitty cam. Hello, kitty. Dorian. He's purring. Yep. Anyways. A few other good reasons is that maybe these people are more talented, more experienced, or more knowledgeable, or all of the above, in that area that you assign them. Figure out what their um, strengths are, what their interests are, what their knowledge and experience is in, and assign that portion of the task or that project to that person. Now, it can be challenging when you really want to do the project yourself and you want to do it the way you want to. This comes, what comes in next is having a little bit of trust and a little bit of faith in your team. First, you will need to communicate as best as you possibly can to your team members what it is that you want and how you want it to be done. If you do not care, then let them know you don't care and that you're trusting them with that decision or the many decisions that are involved with that project. And if you do not know what you want in a project, let them know you do not know, and, but you trust them to make the decision, and if they have questions, they can come and talk to you, and we can discuss, you can discuss with them what the, bot, the, what the best um, resolution is for that, you know, like weddings, flowers, for example. I have no taste in flowers. I think they all look great. I love flowers, but I have no distinction between what is a good flower bouquet arrangement, and so I delegated that work to a family friend and I left it totally up to her. I let them know, I trust you, you're better at this than I am, you get to do this, uh, here's, a, here's a bit of a prompt, go with red, <laughs> you know. Uh, so that work was delegated for my wedding. Another instance would be uh, like my job. Uh, there are people who have time on their hands who could help with some graphics. I am good with graphics, but I don't have time to do all of them, so assign it to that person. There is another factor involved with this, and it is a little bit of pride. There are some times where I want to do things, for example, me, I want to do things the way I want them done, how I want them done, when I want them done, and all the details. Like, I want to be in control of this entirely, but I just can't. I have to let it go. I have to let someone else help me with this in order to get it done in time or to give them something to do so I can focus on other more, more important things. Now, I have to let them. I have to give that up. I have to give up that pride. Another thing is um, admitting when you don't know something or don't know how to do something. It's hard to swallow your pride and say, hey, I'm not good at, this is me, for example, I'm not good at audio. Can you please do something with this audio? I don't know what I want. I don't know how it needs to be done, but here's the direction that we need to go. It needs to go like this. See what you can do to reach that goal. Communicate like that and the people who, who are good at this stuff or want to help, they will rise to the occasion and do the best that they possibly can. Here's an extra tip. When you are delegating work, 
if you can relinquish as much of that power and give some of that decision making to them, let them know that you trust them and that you know that they will do a good job, you have just given them creative free reign to do the best they possibly can using their own creative mind and motivation. And that person will be super passionate or become passionate about the project they're doing and put their 110%, if not more, into doing that and doing that well. I've seen this in a company and they were given, like for example, some artists I know and a designer. The designer had very minimal specifications for what was needed in an environment. This environment needed a few very important things. It needed this puzzle, it needed this piece of information, and it needed this um, inventory item, for example, in the gaming world. And they gave very vague instructions for how to design the environment. Very basic clues. And they trusted the artist to fill in all the rest of the details. Artists love this. They love the details. They love to pour quality into areas that people would otherwise not look. And so when the time comes to reveal that area, people get way more than they expected. They get incredible. And so when you relinquish some of your control over a project and allow people to fill in the spaces and pour themselves into it, you will get tenfold the better results than it would have been if you did it all yourself. That's a little bit of uh, humility right there, but it's true. That is how you cultivate a great team as well. When you delegate work, communicate uh, the, the needs properly or as best as you can, admit when you need the help and when you don't know things and let people rise to the occasion, you yourself will have a great team and in the end, hopefully, the best possible outcome of the project. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Check out the other quick tips I have and be on the lookout for more game videos. I'm working on updating my computer at the moment, so I'm not playing as many computer games until that gets updated. Plus, we're doing some renovation work in the office, so it's going to be better. It's just going to be better. So stay tuned for that reveal, and I'll see you in the next video.